Hi, I'm Erlene Fowler, and I've come to AHO um, doing a book signing and presentation at the AHO Library. Um, but I, the reason my connection with AHO is my, my cousins, Ben and Howard Nixon, grew up here. And their mother and my mother were sisters. So I used to, when I was a little kid, come to AHO all the time, back when the copper mine was open. So Ben is the one that is doing the car show. So um, he said, why don't you come on down? And then he got me in touch with Gabrielle, and, and we ended up doing this talk at the library. Yes, my name is John Baker, born here in Ajo, Arizona, 1963, in the hospital on the hill. This is my 1980 Camaro. Just purchased it a month ago, and I was rushing to get it to the show. Made it in time. But we were talking, I write murder mysteries, so I said one of the first, when I was talking to the people a few minutes ago, one of the things I thought, um, I said that wherever we go, when you're a murder mystery writer, the first thing you think is, um, would this be a good place for a murder? So I was looking at my cousin's green and purple car, and I'm thinking, wow, what would happen if there was a dead body in this car, and someone opened the door, and the body fell out, and then somebody would have to solve the mystery, so who knows? Maybe Ray or I, our next book will be Murder at the Ajo Car Show. <laughs> just graduated from high school and I went to business college at Phoenix which was quite a surprise being in a bigger town but uh, I went to, to uh, business college there in Phoenix that was my first time away from home really I'm gonna be here long term I'll probably stay here for the rest of my life I don't know where I'm gonna go but I enjoy it here I might just stay here for the rest of the kid so what's the thing you appreciate most about our home? It's quiet. Small, quiet. It's not hustle and bustle like I said before. And just enjoy the peaceful. The weather's nice. During the winter and summertime it's a little warm, but eh, enjoy as much as you can.
Hi, my name is John Peck and I'm running for Justice of the Peace in Ajo. Uh, I've been in Ajo for about seven, nearly eight years and it's been my privilege to work with a lot of people here. The GED program, uh, helping with the community market, sitting on WIPSI, um, doing a lot of different things. The Small Business Advisory Commission for the county, which I represent at Ajo. I'm running for Justice of the Peace because I've spent the last two and a half years preparing for it, working with John Casey and Walt Webb as my mentors, two days a week, graduating from Justice College, uh, taking lots of courses, sitting on the bench for the last two years as a pro tem. I'm qualified for the job. I'm really the only qualified candidate. Uh, and I have been uh, working with the court system and with the community. I really ask for your vote. Uh, I look forward to serving you. It is a great responsibility and I will work hard to ensure your confidence. Thank you. The man has asked how we wound up in Ajo. And the true story is uh, we came because we owned property here. In the process of selling our house in the state of Washington, they, it turns out the realtor owned a piece of land in Ajo. And we wound up buying it sight on seed and came to Ajo. The car whose name also is Ajo, as it says on the, on the placard in front of the vehicle, is a uh, three-year-long project that involves a tremendous amount of work in consideration of the fact that the vehicle was a mess when we started. Uh, the body was rotted out in a number of different places. The body was uh, damaged in several places. And it took a better part of three years before it came to the condition it is in now. I'd like to say a lot about it, uh, but uh, that's about it. It's got a pretty paint job, and it's got a big engine and everything in it, and I'm proud to have it in the Ajo Car Show. Well, the thing about Ajo is that when we were kids, the whole different situation than what the kids go through now. This was a quiet, nice place, and we had fun, and we created our own fun. We didn't have video games or anything like that, but. We enjoy just being with each other because a lot of us were born and raised here. Hi, my name is Evelyn Mendez. I'm president of the senior class of 2015, and I would like for you to support and or donate for our senior trip, which will be a cruise to Alaska on May 2015. Our upcoming event is a haunted house at the school gym on October 29, beginning at 5 p.m. Thank you and see you there. Hi, my name is Anton Anderson. I came in Ajo, Arizona about three years ago. I came across this car here. It's a 1981 Electra van. Originally it was made in Japan by Subaru by Subaru Simbara. It's, uh, it's all pure electric, doesn't run on gas. It takes about six 12 volt batteries in it. it. There's only 100 of these made here in the USA, but the company of Subaru still makes them today overseas in Japan. I'm Sherry Osgood and well, I should say Sherry Weeks Osgood. The Ajo I remember, I mean, it, there was people that lived in every house. When we went cruising last night, what surprised me is that, that a lot of the houses are empty. Um, but back then, when the mine was running and my uncles were working at the mine and my grandma worked at the hospital, you know, we would come here and there were restaurants and there were bars and there were, like, the, churches and um, it, so it was a lot more active town you know and I hope it comes back because it's got such a beautiful downtown the Spanish colonial downtown I is so gorgeous and I would love to see Ajo come back alive maybe like as an artist colony which they're doing now over I guess over at the the secondary school um, where my cousins went to junior high school there <laughs> Thank you.